The Olympic Games is one of the most anticipated sports events in the world, with billions of fans tuning in from all corners of the earth to watch the world's greatest athletes compete against each other and represent their country. Since its inception, the Olympics has held a significant value to many across the world, with billions waiting for its return every four years. This year though, when the Olympics arrived, instead of wowing the crowd like they normally do, they shocked the world as the 2024 Paris Olympics is being called the most disgusting and blasphemous thing ever shown on TV. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The Truth Is, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be exposing the Olympics opening ceremony. Let's get right into it. The Olympics is by far one of the most watched sporting events in the world, only competing against the FIFA World Cup. Billions of people of all ages from around the world tune in to watch the world's best athletes compete against each other to prove which country is the best. Because of this, a certain level of family friendliness is expected from the Olympics, which is normally the case. This year though, the world was caught by surprise when they were shown one of the most blasphemous ceremony performances ever done on TV. This year's opening ceremony was not only confusing, but disrespectful to everyone who follows Jesus Christ. In today's episode, we're going to expose this demonic ceremony and I will explain why they did things like reenacting the Last Supper with men in drag, or showing the pale horse and the golden bull, and break down what it all means. If you haven't noticed yet, all the major performances in the last year or two have been demonic. Last year it was Sam Smith worshipping Satan live at the Grammys. This year it was Will Smith performing an occult ritual live at the BET Awards. The blatant acts of Satan worship are becoming more and more obvious as time goes by. These performances have always been satanic, but they have never been this disrespectful and disgusting. What was done at this year's Paris Olympics just proves we are living in the new world order. They are no longer hiding their worship of false gods and disrespect towards the savior of humanity. If you haven't noticed yet, Lucifer has the world under a trance, as most people see no wrong with this ceremony despite the blatant disrespect. The first thing we must point out is the fact that this was the 33rd Olympics. We all know how important the number 33 is to these elite, as the 33rd degree represents the degree where Masons believe they become enlightened like a god. On top of this, they started the ceremony with a 6 kilometer parade of nations. Already we see their favorite numbers 33 and 6. No wonder this Olympics was so demonic. What most people were shocked about with this performance was the Olympics reenactment of the Last Supper. To us Christians, the Last Supper is sacred, so to watch the World Olympics blatantly disrespect and mock it was disturbing. I can't say I was surprised as I know exactly what this represents. This is not only a mockery of Christ, but it's also an alchemic message representing man becoming God. In the ancient occult art of alchemy, it is believed that a person has transcended to a god when they become androgynous beings. Alchemy is heavily used in the world of the occult, and this cross-dressing connects back to it. The concept of alchemy when it comes to metals is essentially transforming base metals into noble metals. Now the concept of alchemy when it comes to man is turning a normal man into an enlightened god. Those using alchemy go through an alchemic transformation called the great work, becoming what they believe is gods on earth. This is a drawing depicting a person who has achieved the great work. As you can see, they depict the person as a strange being that appears to be half woman and half man. The photo represents two opposites coming together to make one. It represents the alchemic transformation from man to God. Alchemists believe that a man can become God through the process of merging their masculine side with their feminine side. This is why this drawing depicts a man merged with a woman. This drawing is a representation of androgyny and alchemy. If we look up what this drawing represents an alchemy. It states, androgyny and alchemy, the perfect fusion of opposites, the ideal divine state, the philosopher's stone. In brief, the purpose of alchemy is to separate and combine opposing elements so that they will eventually form a unified whole. This is the purpose of alchemy to go through this gender bending transformation becoming androgynous. This is why we have been seeing the elite push this woke agenda so heavily. Just like Lucifer convinced Adam and Eve they were their own gods, alchemy teaches that becoming genderless or androgynous makes you an enlightened god. For those who don't know what androgynous means, it means having the physical characteristics of both a male and a female. Just like the men in drag, they had performed the Last Supper at the Olympics. This is not only a mockery of God, but in a occult declaration that man has now become God. Jesus is God, so they are mocking him and showing themselves as him to represent themselves as these alchemic gods. The elite are telling us they have become divine through alchemy. 
That's why they're showing a man dressed as a woman playing Jesus. Not only are they mocking Jesus, but they're saying through alchemy, through the occult, they have become like Jesus, like God, just like Lucifer said they would. Remember, their god is Baphomet. The deity Baphomet actually represents the alchemic androgynous transformation. Baphomet is another representation of androgyny and alchemy. Baphomet is a being that is half man and half woman and half beast. It also has many alchemic symbols in its drawing like the moon crescent. On top of this, Baphomet actually has an alchemic phrase on both of his arms. One side states Save and the other coagulate, which means to dissolve and coagulate to break a substance down to its basic elements before reforming it into something new. Baphomet represents the alchemic androgynous transformation. This is the agenda being pushed through this year's Olympics. They want to manipulate the world into becoming this, this Baphomet. That's why every company owned by the elite is pushing this agenda. During this last supper ceremony ritual, they also showed a depiction of the fallen Greek god Dionysus, which is rather interesting. The Greek gods are just representations of the Egyptian gods. Each Greek god was copied from Egyptian mythology and was modeled after their gods. Even though they give their gods different names, they represent the same gods the Egyptians worshipped. The Greek god Dionysus is considered to be the Greek version of the Egyptian god Osiris. Now you guys should know how important Osiris is to these occultists. He is one of the main gods worshipped in the unholy pagan trinity. The Egyptian trilogy is Osiris, Isis, and Horus. Osiris is the father of Horus, and Horus is the main god Aleister Crowley worships. Crowley was quoted saying that Horus will peck the eyes out of Jesus on the cross. Crowley preached about the age of Horus, the new age that was coming to kill the old age that was ruled by God. When humanity will become enlightened, becoming their own god, and abandoning the one true god. Just like this Olympic Games was representing, they showed us we are in the age of Horus. You think it's a coincidence they showed Osiris, the father of Horus, on top of the table of the so-called Last Supper? They are telling us they have achieved their age of Horus, where man has abandoned God and become their own god. This all connects to the depiction of the pale horse they showed at the Olympics as well. We all know what the pale horse represents. It's a symbol of the end times. In the Bible, Jesus tells us that the end times will be like the times of Noah. Jesus was referring to how the world had fallen. In the times of Noah, they had forgot about God and sin became normal and they worshiped these pagan gods. We are living in the days of Noah because the elite want us to be. They are the ones pushing this agenda because they serve the fallen gods. They showed us the pale horse to represent the end of the old order and the start of the new. The end of the old world ran by God's moral code and the start of the new Masonic world ran by the rules of Horus. They have been showing us this imagery for years. These elite are telling us the old world is over and that we are in the age of Horus. They are falsely declaring the death of the Abrahamic religions. They also showed us the golden bullhead, which is an obvious representation of Moloch, the deity God forbid us to worship. They are showing us their pagan worship and hatred for Christ all throughout this event. This golden bull is the god they have been serving all along. They even had the most demonic Masonic puppet they can find performing at this event. Lady Gaga was the opening act. She was dressed as a black swan, which is not only a representation of witchcraft, but also a representation of the great rebirth. This entire performance is meant to represent the rebirth of the world. They are declaring we are in the age of Horus. Brothers and sisters of Christ, it's our time to show them we stand together stronger than ever. We will not accept this and we should make this known. We must call them out for their evil and protect our people from falling victims to their manipulation. Don't let the manipulator guilt you into falling in line. Show them you stand with God. Remember, God wins no matter what these people do. God is the end all be all. These soulless people are trying to hold on to the bit of time they have left as they know they will meet a burning end. When God comes back, it will be a glorious day. A day those who mock God would deeply regret. Well, that's it for this one. But before you guys go, I just wanted to ask you guys to like, comment, and share this video so others may see the truth. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.